Scientists at the Missouri Botanical Garden say agriculture is changing and they are playing a role in the largest agricultural transformation the world has seen in a few thousand years. The Global Inventory Project is giving researchers hope for a more sustainable way of growing crops by using perennials. HEC-TV's Michael Daniels has the story. Behind the scenes of the Missouri Botanical Garden, scientists are trying to identify plant species that could be used in creating perennial crops. Perennials come back year after year. Their root systems live for multiple years, opposed to annual crops that have to be replanted every season. Annual crops are feeding most of the world. But scientists here say today's agriculture is environmentally destructive. Lead researcher Jim Miller is working with researchers at St. Louis University and the Land Institute in Salina, Kansas, to create new food crops that will make agriculture more eco-friendly for future generations. The primary benefit is that we would be developing an agricultural system that is ecologically much more sustainable, that did not require tilling, that would dramatically reduce topsoil erosion. Um, it would not require as large of inputs of fertilizer or pesticides. Grains, legumes, and oilseed crops like sunflowers and soy are the main crops grown for food. These staple crops are eroding soil, losing nutrients, and creating water runoff full of contaminants. Perennial crops would minimize this erosion with deeper plant roots and less tilling, while reducing labor and cost for the farmer. Perennial agriculture would grow crops that were not planted annually every year, but were long-lived perennials um, that were grown in polycultures, mixtures of different species uh, that could mutually benefit one another. The legumes, the beans could provide nitrogen to the other crops in a mixed field. You would harvest this every year. It would minimize erosion. Miller is part of an organization searching for perennial candidates called the Global Inventory Project. Miller says the search can be difficult as many crops grown today look very little like the wild plants they originated from. We've gone back and we decided let's go look at things that don't have any history of being grown as food but might have characteristics that would make them good food plants. They have big seeds, lots of starch in the seeds. There are over six million plant specimens here at the Missouri Botanical Gardens and scientists are hoping to use some of these plants in perennial agriculture. When researchers find a species that looks promising, they breed them in large fields in a process called domestication. Miller explains that much like the early forefounders of agriculture, scientists are looking for those characteristics that would make an ideal food crop. There are guys out there in the field uh, men and women plant breeders who are out there measuring often with uh, little rulers or calipers or other measuring devices 50 or 60 different characteristics of every plant in the field for thousands of plants to act to select the ones that they think will be the best parents for the next generation. Miller says if the domestication process is successful then it's the seed of the perennial that will be used as a new food source, attempting to replace those staple crops like grains and legumes. So what we're envisioning out of a perennial agriculture field is we'll let this mature. We won't harvest it as a string bean. We'll be growing it for the seeds that are inside the pod. The Global Inventory Project has seen some commercial success. Kernza, a cousin of the wheat family, has successfully been developed into a perennial. Kernza is now being used commercially in products like beer and baked goods. We have Ted Wilson, who is the baker at Union Loafers over here on the corner of Shaw and uh, Tower Grove Avenue, who runs a beautiful artisan bakery, and he's dying to get some Kernza, and we're trying to get it for him. We can't get it. It's There's more demand than there is supply at the moment. This was a, in the family of wheat, you said? It is the same genus as wheat. It is a, uh, a very close relative of wheat, but unlike wheat, which has to be planted from seed every spring, it's a perennial. Miller says scientists working on the project understand it will be quite some time for agriculture to significantly transform. However, in a world with a growing population, there is a more sustainable and eco-friendly agriculture system on the horizon. It's a daring leap for science to sort of think that far out into the future and think, can we 
completely change the paradigm by which we produce our food.